Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So in our last video, we got a bunch of blocking and stickers cut. And so now we are all geared up to mill the fun stuff. The big, you know, 10 by 10 timbers, the live edge slabs, the framing lumber, all the stuff that we're gonna be able to build and make things out of. And I've also mentioned in the past that one of the first things I wanna do with the lumber that we mill off of our sawmill here is I wanna build a cabin back in the woods, a 14 by 20 or 25, something like that. But I don't know right now if I wanna do a timber frame construction or if I wanna build it out of stick lumber, two by fours, two by sixes. So the plan for today is we're gonna take some of these big pine logs we have sitting here and we're just gonna square them up because you can always take a 10 by 10 timber and mill it down into two by fours and two by sixes but you can't put it back together again once you've already cut it. So let me show you the logs we're gonna mill up here today, and then we'll go ahead and get them on the mill and start sawing. Stick around. So the three logs I'm planning on squaring up today are these three pine logs across the bottom here. This first one measures about 19 inches. This one here measures about 21 inches. And this one here measures about 24 inches. So these should be pretty nice once we get them squared up. Let's go ahead and fire up the tractor and put them on. All right, so now that we've got this log on the mill, we wanna go ahead and center the pith. And the pith is just a fancy word for the very middle of the log. The reason we wanna do that is we don't know what we wanna use this log for. Like I said, if we're gonna just make timbers out of it, or if we're actually gonna cut it into dimensional lumber for building material, two by fours, two by sixes. The reason you don't want the pith in any of your framing lumber is because it's prone to checking and cracking. So let's say you had a two by 12 running right down the center of that pith you'd end up getting a check or a crack right down through the middle of your lumber and it would be pretty much be worthless. Now you'd have two two by sixes instead of one two by 12. So how you center the pith is you take a straight edge, put it across the bed rails of your sawmill and you measure up from your straight edge to the pith. So right about here, we are seven and three quarters. Now you want the pith to be the same distance up on the other side as well. That way you have this log sitting flat on the mill. And then when you bring your saw blade through, it's gonna cut a nice straight level line with the center of your log. So that's how we're gonna go ahead and accomplish that. So like I said, this is seven and three quarters. Let's check the other side. So the other side was seven and three quarters to the center. And this one looks like it's about eight and a quarter. So the other side needs to come up about a half an inch. Now, luckily with this easy boardwalk 40 sawmill, this is a really easy adjustment. I have this two ton jack that's on here. We're just gonna go ahead and shut down our pressure relief valve. And then there's this jack here. And as you can see, as you start to pump it, it starts to come up. Once we make contact there. All right, looks like we've brought it up about a half an inch. Let's go ahead and remeasure. Yeah, about eight and a quarter right now. There we go.
so this ended up working out to be about 10 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. Tell me, where else in the world can you go out and buy a 10 by 11 post? Anyway, let's go ahead and get this one off the mill and get the other two squared up.
All right, so these cants worked out to be 10 inches by 11 inches. This one here is 12 and a half feet long. This one is 14 by 10 and a half. This one is 11 and a half feet long. And then the big one over here is 16 by 15. And this one is 10 and a half feet long. Well guys, I think we found our new calling in life. There is so much joy, satisfaction, and fun out of milling your own lumber. You know, the reason we got into firewood and enjoyed doing that so much is because there's a satisfaction in being self-reliant and being able to provide for yourself. With a little bit of work and effort, you can provide an entire winter's worth of heat for your home and not have to pay anybody or, you know, get anybody else involved. It's all on you, whether you put the work in or not. Well, the sawmill takes that to a whole new level. Now we can build things and not have to pay anybody else. I mean, yeah, we got to put fuel in the machine, but we are completely self-reliant now on what we want to build here. Which brings me to my next point. I know at the beginning of this video, I said the first project we wanted to build with the lumber off of the sawmill was a cabin back in the woods. But as you can see behind me, I've got to tarp the power head of this sawmill every night when I put it away. And I want to get away from doing that. So I, I think we're shifting focus here. I think the first thing we want to build is a shelter or a pavilion for that sawmill. That way all the future projects that we mill the lumber for with this sawmill will be done under a roof. On another note, I wanted to remind you guys about the Paul Bunyan Show this weekend, Saturday, October 2nd in Cambridge, Ohio. Lana and I will be there. If you see us come up and say hi, I'll be passing out little orange koozies with our Hometown Acres logo on it. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.